Today on Ballistic Burgers, I'm gonna be cooking up for you guys what has been voted as one of the best burgers in America, the Mission Burger, straight out of the Mission Bowling Club in San Francisco, California. Let's get going. The Mission Burger is a beautiful crafted burger consists of one half pound of ground brisket and chuck, caramelized onions, a really nice kind of an aioli burger sauce, all on a crafted bun, oh, <laughs> with tons of melted jack cheese. We're gonna kick it off by caramelizing those onions. We're gonna melt some unsalted butter. So while I'm melting the butter, I just have the heat on medium. I do not wanna burn this butter. Now we're gonna add the onions, and this is actually, it was a whole white onion that I've sliced very thinly and I'm going to add it just little bits at a time here. We don't want to overwhelm this pan. The onions will start to shrink as they cook and then we can add more. So I'm going to keep these onions moving and what's happening right off the bat is the water in the onions is starting to get cooked out. If at any time it starts looking dry in here, you can add just a little bit of water. Now, as you can see, the onions are starting to change color. You gotta keep these things moving. Again, if it starts looking a little dry, add a little water. If it looks like it's cooking too hot or too quickly, turn down the heat. We don't want to fry these onions. We are trying to literally dissolve these onions, get all that sugar to come out. But it's very important to keep them moving. After a good 20, 30 minutes, <laughs> this is what we end up with. Just a nice, sweet, kind of savory, burgery goodness right here. All right, I'm going to get the onions off to the side, just kind of keep it a little warm, and we're gonna make that aioli. Some mayo. Some chopped caper. Chopped fresh tarragon. Some minced fresh garlic. Fresh squeezed lemon juice in the bowl, give it a whisk. There we are, set this out to the side. Now this caper aioli is something I'd recommend probably doing a few hours in advance to really let it meld. We're going to go ahead and grind that beef now. So for this grind, I'm using my chili grind plate. So these are the big holes on that plate. I just really personally enjoy that texture. We're grinding equal portions of chuck and brisket. So I'm going to make sure that I'm alternating or putting the meat in together, the brisket and the chuck together, just to make sure that it's really blended up in the grind. And then after we're done grinding all this meat, I'm going to run it through the grinder again. We're going to double grind this. There you go. Voila. <laughs> Let's go ahead and form this patty. So we're gonna zero out the scale. I'm just using a paper bowl. Okay, so zero. Like I said, this is a big old half pound burger here. There we are. And for those of you elsewhere in the world, 232 grams. Using the old stainless steel burger ring. I love this thing. There we are. 
gorgeous. Nice looking patty. It's time to cook. Cooking on the flat top today like any good bowling alley would. These two burners are on medium high. The other two are off and I have that skillet with the onions over there where they're staying nice and warm. I'm going to season the patty with just a little bit of a, this is a steak rub. It's basically salt, pepper, and garlic. Have some good color coming up the side of this burger patty. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a flip. Nice crust. I have here a really nice fresh baker roll and I'm going to do something that I've never seen done before. I'm gonna slice off basically the top of the crown. Now we're gonna go ahead and make the burger bun. A little butter down. And the first thing I'm going to toast is that portion that I cut off the crown, which is very cool. Lay down some very finely shredded jack cheese, Monterey Jack. You're generous with the cheese. A little bit of water. Got a gorgeous, nice kind of golden brown crust there. Now we're gonna to toast the rest of this bun. That feels really nice and crispy. Nice toast on the buns. So on this bottom bun, I'm going to lay down some of that caper aioli. Here we go. Burger down. Some of those caramelized onions down. Lay down that crown. And I present the Mission Burger. Such a, just a classic, beautiful burger. Cannot wait to try this out. And look at all that dripping jack cheese, caramelized onions. Oh, this bun is so soft. Here we go. Nice medium on that cook. Let's try this out. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, no, I don't want to waste that stuff. Oh my God. This is proof that you can make a very complex burger with very few ingredients. Mm. So the first thing that's really jumping out at me is the tarragon and the garlic. I've never tasted tarragon on a burger before. I mean, I've had it on fish, never on a burger. Wow, that garlic and that brininess of that, of that aioli. I think a good fresh bun, critical. Really take your time caramelizing those onions. Do not try to rush that. That really makes the burger because you're getting that sweetness. I didn't add anything. You can add a little salt and pepper if you want, but it doesn't need it. I wanted to taste that sweet caramelized onion flavor and, and make sure you're using enough onion because that was one fairly large onion and I have very little left. So if I were, if I were making four burgers, I'd probably use three large onions for this recipe. Um, wow. This is going to be, I created a favorite burger list and this is going to be on that list. Honestly, this burger, and I, I, I haven't had theirs before. It's on the list now of places I wanna go. 
If their burger is as good as this one, wow. I mean, I wish I could say I invented this thing. It's a good burger. Again, it's so simple. And that meat blend, the brisket with the chuck, it just, they play together so well. And it's such a rich, beefy flavor. And the type of meat you grind does make a difference. I had a viewer arguing about that. Meat is meat, but it's not. I, I disagree with that wholeheartedly. You need to try this exactly how it is. Even if you don't like onions, I think you need to try this. <laughs> I, this is an awesome burger. Wow, 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 wow. Anyway, for those who want to know today, we're drinking a Mexican beer. It's uh, Victoria. Fantastic beer and goes very good with burgers, things like this. It's fairly light. Keep those suggestions coming in. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you ring the notification bell. Very important. Thumb it up if you like it. Hope you did. See you in the next video. Cheers. Wow.